Hello, good afternoon. It's Sadil Fazal here, market analyst at CFDs.com, bringing you a review of the European markets for end of day's trading, the Thursday, 6th of July 2017. Please be sure to visit Trade Signal, signals and market updates from leading providers. You can certainly download the app at www.tradesignal.com and you can certainly download also at Google Play and, uh, and uh, Apple App Store. Okay, now in terms of the markets and where they stand and uh, where they've certainly finished, let's just quickly go through them. Uh, U.S. markets at present currently in the negative, uh, again being hurt by uh, concerns over North Korea, although it certainly seems to uh, be uh, being negated thus far, even though there have been concerns throughout the day with regards to uh, yields in Europe rising, uh, with the euro certainly at the lofty heights of above 1.14 1 1 now. 1.1422 is the last potential quote, okay? So again, euro certainly has a strength certainly hurting European equities. Uh, European markets finished uh, FTSE down 30 points, 7337. DAX uh, certainly finished lower, 70 points, down at 12380. French CAC actually managed to reverse towards the end, uh, up, back up to 5150. And uh, you're looking at the FTSE MIB and the IBEX certainly. Uh, FTSE MIB actually finished higher, 0.7%, strangely enough. But the IBEX finishing weaker. Okay, so a summation of economic data towards the end of the day. Uh, again, it was more of a US, uh, UK, or should I should say US led story. Uh, certainly, uh, European uh, obviously markets were hurt by German factory orders coming in worse than expected. Again, uh, Ger German yields certainly rising, yields across the eurozone, uh, all in all, and that was led by the ECB minutes and Mr. Uh, Mr. Villeroy certainly on the hawkish side. Uh, given the fact that uh, ECB initially or the report denied that the ECB had discussed tapering, and then obviously ECB minutes confirmed tapering had been discussed, very strange, and that certainly sent the yields higher. Well, in, in advance, they were higher. And the euro certainly pushing higher as well. Uh, Mr. Trump is in uh, Pol I think Poland at the moment. Uh, again, in, in, uh, a very strange individual. And again, very strange comments coming out from him can certainly sway the markets. Mr. Trump did actually indicate that he is going to keep trying with China with regards to the uh, situation there. So again, certainly take that on board as well. Mortgage applications from the UK, US certainly came in slightly stronger. Job challenger job cuts. Uh, again, came in slightly stronger, but ADP numbers and the uh, jobless claims certainly came in the weaker side. Trade balance certainly came in on the weaker side as well. Uh, Canadian data on the uh, uh, mixed bag there with regards to building permits stronger and imports, exports certainly coming in on the uh, more or less in line, basically. US market services PMI negated the weak job jobless data. They all came in slightly stronger than expected. Mr. Powell's speech, nothing of really any major importance and crude stocks certainly declining and thereby helping the equity markets all in all. Okay, so where do we stand and where are we going? Good question. Okay, so let's see exactly where we are uh, and uh, let's trade accordingly. Now, European equities, again, like I said, hurt by the strength in the euro. Now, let's look at the euro USD. Euro USD, from my perspective, is certainly coming into resistance now. And a lot of the bearish news from the strength in the euro and obviously yield spike, etc., certainly is baked into the cake to a large extent. Four hour chart now coming into pivot R3 resistance, and therefore one would presume that would certainly keep the euro at bay. In terms of the bonds, bonds from my perspective are into support now. When bonds are into support, yeah, European equities generally come into support or gain support as well. If you look at the daily chart of the bonds, you can see that we are now into horizontal support, and therefore you are looking for a potential top in the euro as well. So bear that in mind, okay? Certainly bear that in mind with, a, with regards to a potential top in the euro. Okay, uh, in terms of uh, European equities, let's just bring them up for you. It's, uh, German DAX double bottom. Okay, I think that really is a summation of everything, really. Uh, diagonal trend line resistance certainly held as well. If bonds are into support, German DAX will be into support as well. MDAX, again, daily, certainly horizontal support was held. A lot of bearish news certainly baked into the cake. French CAC, again, bottoming tail, certainly is a promising sign for European equities, certainly looking to potentially reverse and push higher. Uh, FTSE 100, again, we thrust off the pivot low at 7300, so very impressive. Okay, still held that green candle, which was the lower body being at 7312. Impressive thrust higher. The resistance at 7380 or 7390 still is in place, so bear in mind, don't get too excited. 60 minute chart, a double bottom certainly has been put in from my perspective and now we are looking at a potential bias change for a higher low 10 minute chart again you are capped at resistance at 7355 next resistance 7370 but for now any retracement back down to 7325 is a buy uh, even 7310 double bottom is a buy as well so that's my interpretation okay now in terms of the 
Euro stocks last but not least before I call it a day here. A daily chart certainly bottoming to that gap fill. So again, looking to potentially bounce on Euro stocks. 60 minute chart again double bottom. So again, bias change in play. So uh, summation and conclusion really is uh, bias change is in play. Uh, double bottom certainly is in play. And we are now looking to move higher. Bearish news certainly baked in. Bonds into support. Euro into resistance. Markets are going higher. On that note, please be sure to visit CFDs.com. Visit Trade Signal, signals and market updates from leading providers. And certainly be sure to download those apps. Goodbye now.